Hey guys, Filmington here, back with another contest response video. This time it's for eight different individuals. B Roth 6, Oakland A's 915, G's Mikey, Miami Cards 89, Bowman 53, Abel Carlos, Dave's Cards 861, and Psyched on Baseball Cards. So, um, congratulations guys, keep up the good work. There's a link to each of these individuals' channels down in the description of this video, and enjoy. First up, we have B Roth 6, Brian. That's a 200 subscriber contest. He's at about 228 subs as of posting this video. And uh, he's a big Hank Greenberg collector. So he's asking us in his contest to show and describe a card in your collection that does not really belong. So I'm gonna cheat a little bit here. I don't actually have a card, but I do have a piece of memorabilia. So back when I was about 13, 14, um, I went to my first ever in-person live auction and I bid on one piece of art, this Mike Schmidt um, painting that's autographed. Um, it's got certificate of authenticity in the back and um, I, I won the auction for about 75 bucks or I thought I did. And then the, um, the owner of the art gallery that um, contributed this piece actually outbid me at the last second. Then when he realized that I was only a 13 year old or so, he uh, he sold it to me at what my final um, bid was after the show. So not a big Phillies collector, but um, at the time I was a huge baseball fan and I had recognized that Mike Schmidt was one of the greatest third baseman ever. Maybe the best ever all time, I guess. Offensively, you probably can't argue that, but um, I'm sure the Philadelphia trio, Rave from Philly and uh, Wesker Griff and Mike O really like this piece. So. Maybe this will be part of a uh, future giveaway contest, who knows, but um, a really sweet piece of art. It's just got no place in my uh, my basement, really. Um, don't have enough of a man cave, just a bar, so. All right, and next up we have Oakland A's 915, Eric. 100 subscriber contest. He's got about 136 subs now. Eric is a cool dude, uh, really chill. Uh, a lot of FaceTime in front of the camera. Really genuine from Cali, big skateboarder. And of course, he's a big Maguire collector. He's got a bunch of his rare one-off items. I know he's seeking out a, a 93 Tops Finest Refractor Maguire. Very rare card to find, of course. Um, I've been telling him I've been looking at the, the Griffies there and trying to see if I can get one in a high grade, but very, very difficult. So he's asking in his contest, who is your favorite player? And show five car favorite cards of that one player. And if you know me well, you know that I like Bregman. So here are five of my Bregman cards. In front of us, we have a 2010 Bowman Chrome. This is a sticker autograph, gold, number to 50. Uh, this was probably taken when he was about 16. And uh, this is the minor league USA card. And then we have four of the 2016 Bowman Chrome autographs. These are all considered first year Bowmans. So he's actually got a 2011 as well. I have since uh, or recently sold a lot of the 2010s and 11s. These 16s go for about six times as much as the equivalent um, 2010, which is something I didn't realize when I started to pick up a lot of the 2010s. So um, awesome cards, awesome player, Alex Bregman. I have a separate video where I talk about him and his accomplishments from last year and how remarkable they were. Looking at Geek Stats, Windsor Buff Replacement specifically, um, his year from last year rivaled Jose Altuve's the year before where he won the, uh, the MVP. Um, it was kind of a landslide too. But um, Bregman is gonna, is gonna continue to get better. He's not even above average yet defensively, but he's just learning third base. So I don't think we've seen the best of him yet. Um, just looking at last year's stats, Ballpark adjusted, he was already better than Nolan Arenado's best season by quite a large margin. And I'm talking overall. I'm factoring in Nolan Arenado's defense. And I still think Arenado's a god, but this guy's the real deal. He's got. He's also a great ambassador of the sport. He did some mean things to my boy Nathan Yavaldi, but um, <laughs> he's uh, he's got a presence on Twitter. He also has his own YouTube channel. I'll drop a link to that below. And um, still just 25, and he's the real deal, guys. So that is it for you, Oakland915, Eric. Next up, we have G's Mikey 200 subscriber giveaway. 233 subs as of this video being made. And G's Mikey is Mike. Um, he owns a 52 Tops Mantle. He just got a sick gig and is now a sole proprietor of uh, his HVAC company, his own company. So congrats to you, Mike. 
And uh, he's asking us to first show five cards of players of different races or backgrounds. So we have a German Jew, Ryan Braun. A Russian Jew. Black man. A hybrid Homo sapien. A dragon. And a drunk. He has also asked us to show five cards of Latino players. So first is going to be a Dominican. Pedro Martinez, the goat himself. This is a 92 Leaf Gold Rookie. One of my favorite rookie cards of him, even though he does have some 91 cards. Um, tough to find this, centered, with nice corners and edges. Honestly, I don't have a PSA 10 of this, which is why I'm showing this one. But just a really sweet card overall. And um, Pedro was my favorite player as a Red Sox fan when I was watching him in his Boston days. And here we have a Cuban, so shout out to Cuban Collector. He is a big fan and collector of Jose Fernandez, and this is his 2011 Bowman Chrome autograph in a BGS 10 Pristine Auto 10. So too bad, um, you know, what happened to him was tragic, and um, if he had just stuck around a bit longer, he would have been a terrific, terrific, terrific player. He was already awesome in um, the few seasons that he gave us, but really sweet card. Rest in peace, Jose Fernandez. And then we have Netherlands Antilles Xander Bogarts. This is pretty sweet. The blue kind of matches the um, uniform a little bit. And this is his 2012 Bowman Chrome Autograph Blue, number 150. Really good subgrades on this. Got it at a nice price. Cool looking little autograph, too. And then we have a Venezuelan Jose Altuve, 2011 Bowman Chrome Draft, Gem Mint 10. For a small man, he certainly packs a punch. And then we have a Puerto Rican, and I just sold this yesterday on eBay, so I will be mailing it out. Eddie Rosario, uh, Gold Refractor, 2012 Bowman Chrome. This is number to 50. So he's uh, quite an exciting young player. Um, one of the better offensive players on the Twins for sure. Last year he carried them. All right, so that is it for you, Mikey. Congrats again. All right, next up, we have Miami Cards 89, Chris. 100 subscriber contest. He's got about 181 subs today. He's been growing super fast. He just came back from China. Uh, I've discovered it's the year of the pig. In his contest, he is simply asking us to give a shout out to a YouTuber with 100 subs or less. So with this one, I might be cheating a little bit because he probably has about 101, 102 today. But um, it's going to be my boy, Stofe Sports. Check him out if you haven't already. Real bright guy, witty, dry sense of humor, kind of like myself, except probably a lot drier. Uh, White Sox fan. Um, he posted a video recently, it, and it was really well done. So for a newbie, his production quality is really high. The, the video was all about um, mistakes that could be made when collecting. It was like called like top five collector mistakes or something. And it, I don't know if he's going to make a series out of it. But um, definitely give that video a watch. It was really well done, good pace, very efficient in the way he delivers information. So check out Stofe Sports. All right, so next up is going to be Bowman53. Alex, his contest, uh, it's not associated with any number of subs. He does have about 250 subs today. He's asking us to do a showcase of cards from the 50s. He said no time limit and uh, pick something or a few cards that we're excited to share and bowman 53 alex is a big collector of 53 bowman color if you know alex if you subscribe to him you already know that so all right so alex i've got a few cards to, to show off the first is going to be one that i just bought to help replenish my collection i sold i think four jackie robinsons at a recent show that i did so i needed to get another psa 5 56 tops uh, this is a lot of people's favorite sets of all time. Uh, whether you're talking about the Mantle, the Jackie, the Ted Williams. Just beautiful cards with the um, up front, close up, and the background action shot with a facsimile signature. Real nice balance of colors. And if you can get one of these centered in a decent grade, I'd say three and above, um, definitely pounce on it. Uh, Willie Mays, Hank Aaron, just 
Roberto Clemente's in here, of course. So, oh man, love myself some Jackie Robinson. And then the next two cards are gonna be ones that I showed off recently, but because a lot of people praise them, I figured I'd show them now. So. Rest in peace, Frank Robinson. I picked up a few of his rookie cards um, after the news happened. And um, look, how, look at how centered these are. Um, just really sweet. They're not PSAs, but sometimes you just got to buy the card, not the holder, right? And uh, the, the Beckett on here has got nine and a half centering. The um, SGC has got some paper loss down here. So edge wear, whatever you want to call it. Um, so that's what's keeping it to a four, it appears. Really sweet cards. Okay, so Alex, that is it for you. And uh, next up, we have Abel Carlos. Obviously, his name's Abel. Uh, he's got a 100 subscriber giveaway. He's got about 111 subs now. Give this guy a sub. He's a real good guy. He's new to the community. He's got some good content. And he, uh, he's a Vegas guy. So he's probably got some good stories to tell with that. I know it was snowing in Vegas earlier this week. So he asked us to talk about a card that was an impulse buy. So with that, um, when I got back into the hobby um, back in 2014, um, I made a few mistakes. And then I came back into it last year in 2018. And I didn't really have a whole lot of vintage stuff, but I wanted to diversify my collection. And being a dealer that I am now, as of a few months ago, I wanted to have a display case that would attract some of the vintage collectors. So... I started to pick up or I started to focus on Hall of Famers and not just Hall of Famers, but iconic players like Jackie Robinson, Roberto Clemente. Um, and then, of course, the the top players of all time, like Willie Mays, Hank Aaron, uh, Babe Ruth, Lou Gehrig, and um, some of the more prominent guys from the, the 20s and 30s. And uh, I um, I decided that it was or I guess this is where the impulse kicked in because I didn't, this wasn't premeditated, but I noticed that there were a lot of auctions that were very competitive and I wasn't able to get Jackie's at the right prices. I wasn't able to get Mickey Mantle's at the right prices. So I decided, Hey, why not like go for these other hall of famers? So I picked up this guy. He looks like he's about 57 years old in this picture. Duke Snyder, very terrific offensive player. Um, probably a top hundred player of all time, maybe even top 50. But um, he's just not as well known as those other guys, so his cards aren't going to move as fast. So got him in a high grade here. The other problem is the the surface, which is a very important thing for modern cards, has got like this little. It almost looks like a piece of sugar on the card. I don't know if that's part of the card or not. But and then you have this, of course, yellow um, kind of like ink blot that's like on the surface here that doesn't look that good. But um, <laughs> didn't pay that much for it. But I. Kind of don't know why I have it. I didn't really have like an exit strategy for this card, which you should probably have for every card that you buy if you're intending to sell them at some point. And um, yeah, so that's my impulse buy there. So give him a sub, real good guy, Abel Carlos. Next up is Dave's Cards 861. Dave, this is a 100 subscriber giveaway. He's got 118 subs or so today. He is simply asking us to, to bring up something unique about ourselves he shared with us that he's been in the Marine Corps for more than 20 years. He's retiring soon. Uh, he plans to retire in Hawaii, which is where he lives now, which is awesome. I'm sure we're all envious of you, especially during these cold winters in New England here. And I know other people are, are having it much worse in Wisconsin and et cetera. But um, so interesting stuff about myself. So I don't eat eggs. So I'm sorry. It cometh a egg. Uh, I'm a food critic, which I shared in a another contest response, which some of you may have missed. I am Yelp Elite. So if anybody wants a um, a restaurant to get shut down that they had a bad experience with, just give me like 50 bucks and I'll make it happen. Uh, I got married in 2017, so a little over a year and a, about a year and a half ago. And uh, for work, I'm a consultant. I'm on the road a lot. In the last four years, I've been to... Iowa, St. Louis, Houston, New York, L.A., Pasadena, Charlotte, Chicago, New Jersey, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Boston, probably a few other places that I forgot to mention. Last fun fact about myself is I have a cat, a black fluffy cat named Gianna, and um, she hasn't been in any of the videos because she's afraid of the big screen TV down here, so she literally only comes downstairs to take a shit. So that is it. 
Dave, newcomer, subscribe to him, really chill dude. Um, next up, we have Psyched on Baseball Cards, Tony, 500 subscriber giveaway. He's got about 503 subs now. He's a big A's fan, a really cool dude, another guy that puts his face in, fr in front of the camera a lot. He's asking us to show up to 10 cards that we don't have on display and maybe forgot about over the years. So most of these I haven't shown off in videos. We're going to start with, and I forget if he asked us to limit this to baseball or not, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to deviate a bit. So, and I apologize for the prices on here, but this is Luis Suarez, Uruguay, soccer player, autograph. Picked this up in 2014 when I thought that the soccer presence was growing in the U.S. And then when they failed to qualify, all of the cards took a hit. So this could be another impulse buy, I guess. But um, just a terrific player, terrific striker, goal scorer. He's, of course, the biter. He bit one of my fellow Italian players. <laughs> Pretty hilarious. And he actually kind of looks like a vampire. Um, they probably photoshopped his face. He's, he's more fair skinned than that, but he truly looks like a vampire. He's even got the jaw thing going on too, the protruding teeth, if you will. Next up, we have a, another jackass, Johnny Manziel autograph. This one's numbered 10. Yeah, that's crazy, but it is a kind of a leaf draft state pride card. So not the best brand, but yeah, I was hoping that at some point he would um, either make himself a better into a better football player or maybe make himself more known by doing something really stupid, dumber than he's already done. So um, I guess his string of dumbness has just kind of stayed dumb and not dumber. But this is Manziel. Next up, we have a printing plate of James Paxton. What do they call him? The Great Maple? Now a Yankee, unfortunately. But I think this is the only printing plate I own. But I thought it'd be really cool to show. This is rookie card. Uh, tops archive set so i know uh my boy jeff airtime cards is expecting big things from him in new york a lot of wins which are tough to come by he's right about that uh kevin gausman which is a guy that i collected a lot of in 2014 i loved his stuff throws an easy 98 to 100 he's got a great uh s i think it's a what is it a splitter or something but um yeah he hasn't really done a whole lot this one's number 25 Bowman Red Ice, I think you call these. Yeah, I submitted a uh, Xander Bogarts to PSA. And then we have, it's kind of a cool card, Billy Hamilton, not his first year Bowman Chrome, but this is number to 50 gold. He needs to get that on base percentage up. Can't steal first base, right? And then this is a card that I pulled in a box break. Did this on YouTube, but probably a lot of you missed it. I was trying to hunt for Joey Votto, then I got the next best thing, right? Yadier Molina. And the red matches the... Um, the red catcher's vest there, which is really nice. This one's number to 25. Pretty nice condition. Um, centering's not quite good enough for me to submit this to PSA, but really sharp, awesome player and underrated and will probably one day be in the Hall of Fame. Speaking of the same set, 2018 Topps Chrome, in that break where I was hunting for Votto, I found myself in Armando Galarraga. Remember this guy? <laughs> this is blue, number to what, 150 or something? 200. This is the guy that should have had a perfect game, but then the first base umpire screwed him on the very last, what would have been the very last out of the game. And um, it was one of those ones where the umpires apologized publicly. The guy felt terrible. And Armando Galarraga was very sympathetic to his mistake, saying we're all human. So handled it like a gentleman, and then he faded into oblivion. And then we have one of the greatest pitchers of all time, just kidding, but uh, Lucas Gilito. Um, I have a bunch of his high-end Bowman Chrome autographs, and I pull this in a box break. Lucas Gilito, 2018 Topps Chrome, reverse negative, which I believe these are like one out of every 50 or so packs in the retail. Something like that. Maybe that's hobby. But watch out for this guy this year. If that guy can harness any of his potential and just be more consistent and uh, have this better control from start to start, from inning to inning. He'll be good. But, of course, that's uh, I'm taking a lot of leaps there by saying that. Next, we have a guy. This used to be a really sought-after card. You know what's funny? I looked back to see, after I realized I purchased a card from Alico 3, I looked back and tried to see all the transactions that we've done before, um, basically searching for his uh, handle in my Gmail account 
And Elico 3 actually gave me an offer for this card at one point. I think it was like 20 or 30 bucks. Um, at the time, I thought it was like a $60 card, maybe $50 card, so I rejected it, but didn't counter. But uh, this is a really sweet looking card. It's too bad that Hanley's career might be pretty much over. I don't think any teams really want a part of him. But just a real nice looking card and a PSA 10. Back in 2014, I was getting a lot of hits on that, that's for sure. And then here's another autograph card that's worth pretty much nothing. Shea Hillenbrand. Um, if you're a Red Sox fan, you definitely know about this guy. He uh, provided a two or three above average offensive seasons for us. This is an on-card autograph. Team best. Kind of a no-name brand, but it's in a high grade. So I think I picked this up for like five bucks. Really sweet. So that is it for the eight different contests. Um, all great contributors to the community. Subscribe to their channels. I posted a link to all eight below. And um, that is it for me. So hopefully, like you saw, like, comment, subscribe, out.